With nearly 282 million subscriptions and over 500 million estimated viewers and 200 plus million hours per day of playtime, how does Netflix handle it? Or let's say, how does Java as a backend language manage it? We will understand each aspect. We will go through the software of Netflix for each operating system like web, tvOS, and mobile, and then try to cover all the special features Netflix has and how they work. Let's start. Starting with the backend, Netflix mainly runs on Spring Boot and Node.js. In Netflix, Spring Boot is used for managing business logic and user data. Netflix has adopted a highly scalable and resilient microservices-based architecture. They have over 1,000 individual microservices running in production, and to handle these microservices, they use Node.js because it has fast input-output processing. They also use Hystrix, an open source library, to provide latency and fault tolerance for their microservices. The company also uses Chaos Monkey, an open source tool that intentionally disrupts services to test failure scenarios. Interestingly, both Chaos Monkey and Hystrix were created by Netflix, and they have many other similar great open source projects as well. Now, talking about data analytics and machine learning, the one and only favorite, Python, is used. However, no specific details are available about which frameworks or libraries are used with Python. Moving to databases, Netflix uses a variety of databases to store and process data, but they primarily rely on MySQL and Cassandra for most tasks. Netflix originally used AWS infrastructure, but now they have started using a hybrid model with AWS and OpenConnect, which is their own server setup. Netflix's technical team is known as early adopters because they first adopted microservices architecture when very few companies were using it. After that, they adopted public cloud infrastructure very early on when it was introduced. To manage multi-cloud deployment, they created Spinnaker, another open source tool. Furthermore, talking about the front end, let's start with Netflix's web app, in which they use React.js and Node.js for client-side rendering and API interactions. The web app depends on Redux for managing the application state across different components. To cache video data for a better streaming experience, they primarily use AWS CloudFront and OpenConnect as well. This caching is based on the user's location, both AWS and OpenConnect store cache assets closer to users to improve performance. Now moving on to mobile devices, Netflix initially used Java for Android app development, but they have since transitioned to Kotlin. In the Android app, they use a customized ExoPlayer for video playback, which provides a smooth experience for users. For iOS app development, they use Swift and AV Foundation a full-featured framework for working with time-based audiovisual media on iOS, in short, for working with videos. You know that Netflix is available for almost all smart TVs and their operating systems, like Samsung Tizen, LG WebOS, and Android TV. To build apps for Android and iOS TVs, they use React Native, specifically React Native-TVOS. However, for building an app for Samsung Tizen, they use the Tizen.net framework, and for WebOS, they use HTML5. Netflix is also available for gaming consoles like PlayStation and Xbox, and to build apps for consoles, they have adopted C++, which is more suitable for developing software for gaming consoles. In the field of machine learning, Netflix has many areas where machine learning models are used, but there are four main implementations. Content recommendation, auto-generated thumbnails, content quality check, and streaming quality check. The Netflix AI content recommendation engine is arguably the platform's most important product feature. The content quality check model is used to assess the audio, video, and subtitles of their content. Netflix uses screen capture prevention to prevent users from recording the screen. When a secure video path is established, the device can signal that screen capturing is not allowed. If an attempt is made, the video may not display or will show a black screen. These are the key topics in Netflix's tech stack. Although Netflix uses many technologies, I have provided an overview of the main ones. From this, you can understand how system design works and begin learning more about it. System design is a very important topic for job interviews as well as for starting a new project, as it provides a clear path for, for completing the project and saves a lot of time. 